Today I'm doing something that not too many people actually do in Cabo San Lucas, which means I'm shore diving. Abby, ¿quién es? ¿Quién es? No, es real. Muy gordita. No. I made it to Cabo San Lucas just in time to join the PADI instructor development course at Dive Ninja Expeditions. I gotta say, after a two year break from teaching, it felt so good to be back in the water. The IDC is an intensive two week course focused on training current dive masters how to teach recreational scuba diving courses. Classroom sessions during the IDC include learning about the training organization and course standards, teaching beginners, connecting courses, marketing and business, and of course, diving theory. Then a decent amount of focus will be on pieces for the final instructor exam, referred to as the IE. The IE consists of written standards and dive theory exams and live presentations in the classroom, confined water and open water along with a full demonstration of the ever important Rescue Number 7. For those of you unfamiliar with Rescue 7, that's when you find an unresponsive diver at the surface and as the rescuer need to give rescue breaths while towing the victim to the boat or shore while removing equipment. During the confined and open water presentations, your fellow instructor candidates will act as your students and the course director or IDC staff instructor will assign problems for them to act out and for you to solve as the instructor. Sometime during your course, you'll take a little break from all the scuba diving talk and get trained on emergency first responder theory and skill demonstrations. You must be an EFR instructor in order to be a scuba instructor. Come on, be aggressive. <laughs> the right. best way is to pinch a little bit near the bottom. Wow. My hair is so dirty. I need a shower. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Being an instructor is not for everyone. The job is difficult, the pay is low, and the responsibility is high. And unlike other courses up to this point, the IDC is mostly taught in the classroom. So if you're hoping to spend the majority of your time in the water, uh, you're gonna be disappointed. Generally, the IDC is focused on making future instructors understand the systems, standards, and techniques while well, your first job will provide the real in-water experience. This is why it's so important as a new instructor to start out teaching continuing education students or by co-teaching with experienced instructors. You don't want your first students right after your training to be Discover Scuba Divers or open water students because you just don't have the skills to handle that kind of responsibility yet. What are your top tips for like people that want to be a scuba instructor? Make sure they can eat donuts. Make sure they can eat donuts. <laughs> mm. No, make sure they know what is the job about and that lifestyle. But it's important to, to understand the responsibilities that they, they will have as an instructor. And choosing a destination for your instructor course. It's not about the destination, it's about the person. The course teacher. director. Yeah, it's about the course director. <laughs> yeah. Destination doesn't matter. Water is water everywhere, you know? 
That was so, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. You water, my friend. <laughs> Bruce Lee said that in one video. I know you so. talked about it in a previous video on this <laughs> channel. Because it's important <laughs> to be water. If you want to get a job, kind of quick after the instructor course, choose a destination that offer like uh, the possibility to work like almost right away, or you have life center to choose. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they're dating, they're dating. Come on, come on, come on. How do we feel? How do we feel? Awesome. Yay. Awesome. Yay. Congrats. Yay. I'm one of those weird people that gets really excited about teaching marketing and business in the scuba industry. And so I'm really excited to see what these new dive instructors do in this industry. There are so many new opportunities coming up, and I think it will only continue to evolve. Whew. Today I'm doing something that not too many people actually do in Cabo San Lucas, which means I'm shore diving. I'm taking some of the brand new scuba instructors who did their training through Dive Ninja Expeditions, and we're gonna check out Chileno Bay. ¿Qué pasa, bonita? ¿Te quedas con la furgoneta? ¿Y la cuidas? Hombre, te estoy hablando. Gracias. The dive site is quite the surface swim, which is why this is almost always done as a boat dive. We gave it a go, but there's a specific spot on the western side of the rocks that allow you to swim to the other side, and we didn't quite make it there. The dive was still an excellent showing of fish, rays, and moray eels, plus the sunset from the water after the dive was the perfect way to cap off our time together. It's a party. How was diving? We saw an eel. An eel doing exactly what you're doing right now? Hey, baby. You okay? You lost a toothy. Oh, baby. Who's my brave, sweet girl? Hmm? I have to. Oh, look who's up. 
Oh, sweet thing. Are you still pretty punchy? Oh. <laughs> yeah, good. Lay down, lay down. <laughs> oh, you sweet thing. Abby is usually a total fuss when it comes to doing her nails. So I'm taking advantage of her dopey state. We're gonna do a pedicure. Manny Petty? Pobrecita. 